Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's create a basic layout for the new website which we have created. Let's get started. For this, rather than creating a, I mean, just a simple text, I just looking at uh, some HTML template so that we can use this template to make that home page. So if you click on this, this is a free site. I will leave the URL there uh, in the description. You can download. So this has some components and header, footer and all. Let's just add this as a layout. Close this. I've already downloaded. So this is what the full HTML structure is. And if I go to index page, it will be pretty similar so you would have all these components different things in the next videos we will see how we can build these components but first we need to create a basic layout which is like a master page in um, in dotnet dotnet mvc so um let's first create go to our go to our solution and we need to add a layout first so for layout obviously it is a css html file we can add a view so mvc5 view i can just put basic layout basic layout so yep add okay he did some scaffolding which i don't which we do not require delete and um, okay shade i do not want this and even view start so all i need is basic layout css html it is views uh, okay in this okay first we need to copy that html right so let's go and this is the HTML, so we can just copy over this. I can actually get rid of this. So this is a whole block of HTML which I copied over. So let's go here. Full wrapper and all these things are there. For this, what we do is we need to actually give this all the images and lib, lib folders and CSS and scripts. Okay, let's go to here and copy over these folders. Okay, just copy over and uh, go to our site code demo. Open folder in Explorer. Paste them here and go to here and show project files so let's add all of them i just included all of them so okay there are a ton of images in the later videos we will see how we can make these components and uh, minified and bundling or others so now we have all of them in project here we just need to update the references so some of them image okay tilde and image yeah so all we just need is this okay these are referring from external okay over the wire that is fine you can just put lib 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 css same goes here and js as well so that covers all of them libraries and everything is getting referred referenced and you have so if you see here there are ton of uh, components you have top bar nav bar carousel feature start about start but let's keep all of them here like this not sure if there are any images in between yeah it should be but let's just quickly check
okay this should be fine replace all so we replaced everything this should be okay so all the images and everything got replaced now we have now we have finally all these assets as well as a basic layout this is from uh, codings i mean code side let's go and create a, create in the side core so create item in side core so we are on the, we are in the content editor let's go to layout okay i don't think i have changed anything yeah let it take load in the layout what we do is we create an item and uh, connect it to the basic layout page so you, you under layout it will be layouts so we can set up the project under project let's do it insert mvc layout we are doing mvc layout right so we do mvc layout and name i'll put basic layout next project create so here we need to provide the path path of this basic layout so this is under views and basic layout if you get a doubt you can go to sample layout and see how they are putting it so it's just that here views and basic layout sorry basic layout dot cshtml close sorry save now this is completed first step is in the side code this is what it is so we have linked now to the code so basically our css html now let's go and create maybe another home item or we can create another site node and everything let's create that site entries and everything later because that requires little bit of knowledge on templates just now let's create a sample item so basic basic layout page i'm just giving you some name basic layout page so it got already title and text and uh, select a version so what we'll do is we'll we'll connect this to that presentation i mean that layout so for that we can go to details the presentation and details let's remove all of this and go to layout so this controls whatever i removed those are called components and layout is what where you will point to the main uh, base page so which contains a main html elements um, main html uh, head and footer and all so body and all so here if you go click on this and you can go to basic layout click okay so okay save it so this is what it is created now also you just observe if you publish now the selected version will not be published yeah that means um, it is in the workflow so you can go and um, do the workflow so i'll give you submit i mean just a sample submit so we are submitting it for the review so okay i've not added any comments so as i am also admin in this system so i can also approve it so approve so once approved that means this content is ready to go live it's still in the master database once we publish then only it goes to the web and it will be available on the website so let's do one thing now 
I mean, uh, let's publish site. We can actually publish single single um, item, but just it is local. It's much quicker to do here in this way or much comfortable for us. In the higher environments, we just do whatever the item we have made any modifications. We do not do whole site publish. Okay, let it finish and, and then, okay, this is completed. Now let's go here and uh, because we need to connect that. So code, we didn't deploy it. So let's deploy the code. And just to verify, we can go to C10. So you got CSS, images, lib, as well as views, you got a basic layout. So all these things. And uh, now we can just run the, sorry, now we can just run the C10 homepage. So let it load. Also, this is not the this is not the page which we want to go. This will go. Uh, I mean, this will load the home page, but we want to navigate to basic layout page. So, how do we do that? You can go here and put this. From the site definition, this domain means it is root path plus start item. So, after that, we need to specify the path. So, what would be the path of this basic layout page? This would be item name. So. If you give the spaces and all that would be uh, replaced with the hyphens but now so you can put basic layout page so when we hit when we hit enter this one resolves start item and root path and this one would be after that under the tree where which item it will map so if you go here basic layout page enter it should load as uh, it should load us the page which we are seeing so this this page till now we have not created any templates i mean later we will create like uh, from where we need to handle this text from where we need to add handle this uh, call to action link and uh, background image this is a cms so everything need to be content manageable um, content others need not to need not reach technical teams to open I mean edit this image or modify this text so okay it's open now if you notice it is basically out page it resolved this for us so although we have not done much uh, I mean this is still pure static content others will not have any way to modify this content but for us what it shows there are mainly um, three things one is um, we need to create a layout under the layouts so under layouts we need to create a basic layout which is connected to our cs uh, cshtml second is you create an item and uh, map in the presentation details to the layout and third thing is you have that cshtml in place to map it so still this is very basic we have not done much in the later video let's try and create a templates and uh, build this component one by one so then we will have a clear picture of it how how you uh, i mean what is the use of this content management system and how easy it is to update the content okay that's all for this video see you next time